Before getting wrapped up in a rivalry with his own father, Marquise Jackson was born on October 13, 1997 to parents 50 Cent and Shaniqua Thompson. Upon his kid's birth, the world-famous rapper would credit his son for totally changing his outlook on life, telling the African American Literature Book Club, when my son came into my life, my priorities changed because I wanted to have the relationship with him that I didn't have with my father. A noble intent to be sure, but one that didn't exactly come to fruition. During Marquise's earlier years, however, everything seemed to be going great. Not only would he regularly model for 50 Cent's G-Unit clothing line, but he'd even walk the runway side by side with his pops on a few occasions as well. Starting around 2008, however, things would take a serious turn for the worse. That's when 50's relationship with Shaniqua began to deteriorate and the separation would sink the relationship 50 was hoping to have with his son as well. In 2009, when Marquise was only 12 years old, Shaniqua would sue her former spouse, claiming that he had gone back on his promise to look after her for life. As the subsequent court case unfolded, the judge would wind up dismissing Shaniqua's demands for 50 million, instead ordering the hip-hop mogul to provide around $25,000 per month in child support to Shaniqua until Marquise's 18th birthday in 2015, while also calling the feud between these former partners an unfortunate tale of a loving relationship gone sour. For his own part, Marquise would open up about his relationship with his father around this time during an interview with Wrap Up in 2017. He wasn't really around enough. It kind of dwindled down as time went on and certain events happened. For me, I just started feeling differently about him because growing up, my dad was my superhero. He's on television, he does this, he does that, he would take me to school. It was like having a father who's Superman, more or less. One of the events that drove a wedge between father and son was said to have happened when Marquise was just 15 years old. At the time, he had invited his father over to his mom's house to hang out, but when 50 showed up, Marquise was nowhere to be found. This reportedly enraged 50 so much, he sent his son a series of angry text messages culminating with this doozy. Don't have a son anymore, delete my number. Complicating matters further was 50's belief that Shaniqua had turned their son against him, telling Philly's morning show in 2014 that Marquise had embraced his mom's perspective on 50, which led to the shattering of their relationship. While Marquise's relationship with his father was falling apart, he was still a teenager, doing what he could to find his way in the world. Originally, Marquise looked to establish himself in a field outside of his father's shadow and became interested in the sport of basketball from an early age. Soon enough, Marquise found himself attending a series of different schools, including Kings Ridge Christian Academy just outside of Atlanta, before then transferring to St. John's Military Academy in Delafield, Wisconsin for his senior year. During that final year in high school, Marquise would impress by putting up an average of around 19 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists per game as a 5'9 point guard. Unfortunately, he never wound up receiving much in terms of recruitment despite doing everything he could to put on a show at the National Prep Showcase. After finishing high school in the mid-2010s, Marquise would decide to not go to college after 50 refused to pay for it. I told her I didn't want to go now. I didn't want to go. You didn't want to go because he didn't want to pay for it? No, I just didn't want to go at that point. I was like, nah, I'm all right. I figured out. I didn't want to take out loans. Instead, he shifted his priorities from basketball to something a little bit more on brand. Of course, I'm talking about hip hop, and at 20 years old, Marquise would drop his very first single titled Different in 2017, and he wasted no time spitting bars about his father, stating in the track, Lost my pops, he's still alive. I'm like, what do you say? Me for. Having officially and very publicly put his father on notice for the first time the following year, the relationship between these two would continue to get worse when Marquise posted a picture of himself hanging out with 50's longtime rival, Kenneth Supreme McGriff. Now, for those of you that don't know the history between these two, McGriff was believed to have been involved in the plot to kill 50 Cent that led to the rapper shooting in May of 2000. You know, like when 50 got shot nine times. 50's comment upon seeing this photo was curt, hurtful, and very much to the point. He wrote, if both these little niggas got hit by a bus, I wouldn't have a bad day. After effectively wishing death upon his own son, Shaniqua would waste no time clapping back at her former husband and posting the Instagram. I find it so humorous that a not so gangster rapper will go so hard and be so diligent at going at his child and his child's mother, but won't keep that same energy for who put that hot lead up in his ass. After this war of worlds unfolded, 50's relationship with his former son was more or less over. During an Instagram Live interview with Van Lathan in 2020, 50 expanded upon the end of their relationship by telling Lathan that his own success had cost him his own son. I, I didn't think success would cost me my firstborn, but it's the situation. It's like my grandfather would say, if I like a snake, if it's slipped like a snake, is it a snake or do you need to be bit? 
right? And that's the ache in South Carolina and I'm just the country, she will say. And what he keeps saying is every time you see the boys, you show up with somebody you got a problem with. What does that take? And yet, despite there being very little left to salvage, the worst in Marquise and 50's relationship was yet to come. Over more recent weeks, Marquise's feud with his father has reached dramatic new heights. It started when Marquise hopped on the Instagram Live, where he made it clear over a conversation with Choke No Joke that as far as he was concerned, $6,700 a month that his father provided him in child support throughout his youth is just not enough. $6,700 a month, right? Six seven hundred a month in the state of New York City. You you do the math. Oh, I done I done the math. I've been in child support, bro. I went to jail for it. So I I said so. Hold okay, on. okay, cool. Six seven hundred a month, right? Six seven hundred a month, right? You telling me uh -huh. a woman can't survive off six seven hundred a month? and not be working. He posted a video clip on Instagram from his TV series Power in which the character he plays is seen shooting his own son. Yeah, it's a thing that actually happened. But even wrote in the description, no caption needed. Very, uh, very 50 Cent-esque. The next day, Marquise would double down on his original statement by posting an image to Instagram where he spelt out the word entitled in a series of banknotes. There was an allusion to an image 50 himself had posted to Instagram years ago when he was facing reports of bankruptcy and jokingly spelt out the word broke with a crap ton of money. In the description of his image, Marquise would offer to pay his pops $6,700 for just 24 hours of his time so that the two of them could finally get to do everything Marquise wanted to do with them as a kid. Yeah, spend time with your dad or die trying. Something like that. With things having escalated to ludicrous new levels, TMZ would get in touch to Marquise to speak with if he was serious about the offer to his father. Marquise would respond by informing the media outlet that not only was he serious, he'd actually pay more if necessary in the hopes that all this one day would lead to a better understanding between the both of them. I'm definitely I'm definitely willing to to sit down with him and so I can hear his his perspective and gain a little bit of understanding. I mean like we're both men at the end of the day. Look, to say that Marquise Jackson has an uphill battle on his hands would probably be an understatement. Simply put, 50 Cent is not the type to forgive and forget. I mean, he never has been. A source close to 50 would even tell TMZ that if Marquise was actually serious about repairing their broken relationship, then he should reach out privately and not through news outlets or social media. So will Marquise's relationship with his father ever improve? It's hard to know for sure, but things certainly aren't looking good. As for what happens next, well, you already know what I'm gonna say, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I mean, after all, this is before they were famous, but before you head out, just ask yourselves this one question. Would you rather have a rich and famous parent who eventually disowns you, or never have much in the way of money, but always have your family in your life? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss an episode, all that good stuff. And if you'd like to check out a few other episodes in this series, then be sure to check out for our looks into the come-ups of Spaz Drilly, Hitboy, and Nautica's. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video.